Welcome to the farm. Welcome to the farm. I'm Justin, and today we need to do some work on our gator. So the other day I came home from work to do chores, backed the gator out of the barn, put my foot on the brake to go put it back into neutral to shift into forward, and when I put my foot on the brake, the gator died. So I put it in neutral, started it back up, went to put it in forward, and the gears would just grind. So I put it back in reverse, and I was able to click it into reverse. It shifted kind of hard, but I got it in reverse. Backed it all the way around the driveway and stuff, back into the barn, so it could at least get under cover. So I think the issue is one of the two clutches in this thing is stuck engaged. It's just, they're like a, looks like a centrifugal clutch, so they have weights that fling out when it's under load, and I think those weights are stuck out or stuck engaged. So I'm hoping we can just dig into these clutches, clean them up, and put them back together and hopefully get this thing to work. I'm not sure. I don't know much about it, but I did print out some sheets from the uh, service manual. So we're gonna see what we can find. All right, so here we are in the engine compartment and we have two clutches. The first one is the primary clutch, which is up underneath this muffler here. And then this is the drive clutch. And just kind of a quick look at it, I think the drive clutch is our issue because I believe this piece, when it's in neutral, should be down in here somewhere. And I think it's stuck out, which is keeping this engaged on the belt. Because if I spin this, I'm spinning the engine too. And I don't feel like it should. So I think what we're going to do is I'm going to go grab a hammer and we'll just give this thing a couple taps and see if we can't get it to, to shake loose. Well, I definitely got tension off that belt now. I think we're going to try to run it in forward and see if it'll break loose the rest of the way. So now that I ran that and I put some throttle on this thing, I noticed that these clutches actually work opposite of what I thought. They spread apart to tighten the belt. So this, this mechanism in here is actually working properly from what I can tell. So I think we need to actually work on the main clutch, which is up underneath the muffler. So I got to access it from this side down here. Okay, so the primary clutch is right back here. And I think what I'm gonna do is try to remove this plastic shield and I'm gonna just open the clutch assembly up and take a look before I try to remove it or anything. And hopefully there's just some debris or something stuck in there. There is a cleaning procedure for this clutch in the manual, so that's what we're gonna start with. But I gotta try to get this plastic shroud out of here, which does not look like fun. And I'm gonna do my best to show you what I'm doing. There's not a ton of space in here. But the first thing I see that I wanna remove are these little plastic body clips. And I just gotta try to pop those out. And I tell you, it'd be a lot easier if this muffler wasn't here. That's one of them. Right, that's two. So that side is loose. I think for easier access, I'm just going to take this muffler right out of the way. I think it's just going to make things a lot easier for me. It should only be five bolts. There's three bolts that are on the manifold, and then two bolts on this bracket here. I 
And look at all the room down there now. I should have done that to begin with. All right, so we got one bolt down here on the bottom, which is pretty easy to get at. So now the last bolt is down here underneath that clutch. I think you guys can see it. I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna get on that one yet. I'm gonna just try a long extension and see if I can get at it. Almost. Almost. Here we go. So going through all that effort to get that loose may have been pointless because I don't know if I can get it out of there. The uh, shock has a bolt down here that goes through the plastic. These hydraulic lines here are up against the plastic which makes it really hard to get out. This clutch is almost touching the plastic down here. The plastic kind of is flat and it kind of humps over the axle and comes back down and then it's molded around here and then I got another brace right here, another brace right behind it. So it's it's pretty stuck in there. It's not wanting to come out too easily. I do have all the bolts and stuff out. It's just it's just hanging up on that shock and the rest of the clutches and stuff. I don't have any more time today to work on this. I got to get cleaned up, take Cadence to a birthday party this afternoon. And that'll actually give me some time to kind of think of a game plan on what I want to do. I'm still holding out hope that I don't have to remove the whole clutch assembly because according to the directions that requires a special tool that I obviously don't have, I'm sure there's another way to do it, but... We'll see. Anyway, I'll be back with the game plan in just a little bit. So what's only been a couple seconds for you has been weeks for me, but we're finally gonna get back on the gator repair. And I know in the last video we talked about getting that plastic pan, we're trying to get that out. I'm not sure that we have to do that. What I ended up doing is picking up another primary clutch. So I'm hoping we can just get in there with the clutch removal tool which I picked up. I probably could have made one of these, but as this was only 20 bucks on Amazon, I just, I just bought one. Quicker and easier. But I'm hoping what we can do is with that tool and the little access hole they cut in, I'm hoping we can pull the clutch out, put the new clutch in, and hopefully that'll solve our problems. Let's find out. So on first inspection, comparing the two clutches, I can already see that this clutch is in a lot further than this clutch. So that, that kind of leads me to believe that the clutch isn't separating enough to let the belt slack enough. So I think, yeah, we'll go ahead. We'll try to pull this clutch out, put this one in. First thing I need to try to do is pop off this dust cover on the front here. Right there. So according to the directions, you're supposed to remove the belt first, but since this isn't opening up enough, I don't think I have enough room to get the belt off. I think there's enough slack where I can pull this clutch off without taking the belt off, but we're gonna find out. So the next thing I need to do is take out the bolt and washer that's holding the clutch to the crankshaft. Next, we slide in our clutch removal tool, thread that in. And then we just tighten that until the clutch pops off. All 
Okay, so now we can inspect the belt. The belt looks like it's in pretty good shape. I was tempted to buy a new one, but with the price of the, the clutch, I opted not to. All right, so now we can slide the new clutch in. Get the belt around it. Maybe. Go. Start that on the shaft. Slide our clutch retaining bolt in. All right, we gotta try to get this torque down to 26 foot pounds. So I'm just gonna take a pry bar, flywheel tooth, and see if I can't get that to, to bite. There we go. And I can go ahead and put in the new dust cover. Well, that is so exciting that the clutch seems to be working pretty well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this plastic shield, tighten that back down, put the muffler back on, and I think we can go take this for a test drive. And this thing drives nice now. I think that clutch has been going since we bought it. But yeah, it feels so good to have this back. Okay, let's take a look at this thing, see what, see what actually broke inside. Aha, uh -huh. so the uh, the actual casting on this fin right here broke. Broken pieces, O-ring, little uh, bearing surface for the weights. So yeah, there was, uh, there was no saving this one. This one's just junk. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.